Okay, Marge. All right. Yes, good. I am Margaret Kailars. Kailars. Kailars, Marge. Oh, God. Oh. See, go, Lars. Go, Lars. I'm not saying that bit, again. A bit because better. She corrects every little thing I say, <laughs> even if I'm not used to it. Okay. And and um, visiting for, uh, my aunt Rita for the first time in your life. That's right. Yes. I, never met I was her 14 when you were born. That's right. Mm -hmm. You were a young girl. Yes. And you're still a young girl. Oh, no. I'm 80. 80. 80. 80. 80 years young. That's right. Yes. And as an 80-year-old person who looks very beautiful, who's very bright in her mind, and that's you. Yeah. And, you know, who makes me very happy to have come to see my roots and to see that I am part of this. Oh, yes. You know? And so if she's this beautiful and this bright, there's hope for me. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, we're sitting here in her flat. She has a summer house and this my winter house. Winter palace. Yes, this is her winter palace. <laughs> and she painted this picture, which is beautiful. But because I need something on the on the roof, you will see on the on the wall. Yes. <laughs> and all of a sudden in, in no time she painted it. In one hour. In one hour she painted yes. it. I must have some talent. I have to find it yet. Mm -hmm. I hope to someday, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I used to like to do that when I was a child. This uh, flat is very, very beautiful. Um, there's, a, you know, the the what what do you call your um, what? N you know the dishes. dishes. What the yeah. dishes? The dishes. Yeah, the blue dishes. What are they the called? The blue dishes. Oh, that is from China. Dressed in that's China. That's the uh, that yes, it's ca come from China, mm -hmm. and it is the uh, the family Radinka. Uh, what what is that assembly? Yeah, the family brought it. Yes. Okay, it's, it's like a, it's like an antique that you. It's use. antique. Yes, it's antique. Yes. There's beautiful pictures in this apartment of my cousins. They're so beautiful. There's they were only very young, like six years old. Uh, no, uh, yes, six and eight. And you say their names. Uh, that is Dawa and that's Watts. Yeah. Dawa yeah. and Watts. Watts. If she doesn't hit me over the head, it means I haven't pronounced it too bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, we went out, well actually we arrived on the 8th, yeah, 8th, and only there was 9 here, the 9th. We left on the 8th and we arrived on the 9th. And my biggest joy in life, I think this is one of the most important things that have mm -hmm. ever happened. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Lovely. And I like to have you here, and very, very nice to see you. When she opened the door to let me in, she almost didn't let me in. Because I saw you had black hair. Yeah. Hey, what's that? And brown eyes. <laughs> so she was supposed you to sent me the picture. I said, oh, well, the, she looks like her mother. Black hair, brown eyes. And then I look and you know she isn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Um, we went, we arrived to Epa. Ape. 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 Even though it's spelled E P E. <laughs> <It's> Ape. <laughs> you know, we have a palace here at Low. And where two Englishmen came to Holland and want to see at Low. And then they ordered two tickets for and they say two to the loo. And then they, she said, What? Two to the loo? Tra la 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 and she closed the door. <laughs> 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 and, and then the, the gist of the story is that, yes. no, no that your name, you, oh, no tickets. <laughs> <laughs> you better say correctly or I won't get anything. <laughs> I want you to know that while you were gone, I fixed a little bit of lunch for, for Peter and for myself. Mm -hmm. Only he has a very big appetite. So he ate you at a house and home. <laughs> um, the, the loaf of bread that you, that you bought. It's so good, and he loves good bread. So yes, you know, yes, he's he told me. Yeah. He told me. Yes. yes. All right. Um, my my biggest, you know, question is, who am I? And I can only find who I am from this side. You know, I, I know who I am from the Spanish side. Yes. But this is my opportunity to finish off the little bit that my father, you know, uh, showed me of yes. who I was, 
I want to know some of the background, some of the, you know, like the new grandparents and, and your parents. Well, my, I told you uh, uh, of my mother and father. Mm -hmm. My mother Protestant, my father Catholic, mm -hmm. and she married my father, and so her family, the, the, this is this, uh, this is a pair. They didn't yeah. like. They didn't like that. So they, they didn't like, and so we never heard more about her family. And what and was her last name? Hala van den Hopen. I thought that's what it was. It's I yeah. Van der Hopen. It was uh, uh, Margareta Johanna van den Hopen. Yeah. Kuilaars van den Hopen. And I'm named after her. Huh? I'm my name is after my grandmother because yes, I'm my yes. I'm Your one. Your mother's one Alice. Right, but I don't. I don't. We don't count that. No, no. In, in you know, in our country, we don't do that. Oh. Yeah. So, and they, we don't keep the maiden name either. My father's name either. Mm -hmm. But I kept mine. Mm -hmm. So my name is Juana, yeah. Margarita, yeah. Kailars. Yeah. That's the way we pronounce it in, yeah. in the states. Yeah. Martin. So my yeah. married name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and now, if I lived in Puerto Rico, then I would be Juana, Margarita, Coilars. They call me there. Yeah. Coilars. Coilars. Uh -huh. uh, then Martin, mm -hmm. no, not Martin yet. Morales, yes. Davila, oh, then Martin. Mm. All of those names. Difficult. Yes, but I'm. I like the Kailas. Mm. I always kept that. Yeah, because mm -hmm. yeah. it, it, it uh, you know, the kids when the children uh, talk to me when I was small, they say, nya 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 nya, Margarita Coilas, Margarita Coilas, <laughs> because it doesn't sound Spanish. Mm. Yes. You know? So I would come yeah. home and cry and tell my grandmother, Why am I named Coilas? Why can I be named Rodriguez? <laughs> Rodriguez. <laughs> but that was when I was small, because the children had yes. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So tell me where your mother, my grandmother, was from. Oh, well, she's uh, in the neighbor of Rotterdam. Oh, okay. She was and born? She was born in the neighbor of Rotterdam, mm -hmm. and my father, uh, was born in Breda. Oh, Breda. Breda. Okay. And and then after... Uh, and they married in Breda because he had to be a Catholic. Okay. And they married in the Catholic Church? Yes, of yeah. course. Everything. Yeah, everything goes that way, right? <laughs> <laughs> so then... Um, and then they went to the Netherlands East Indies. Nowadays it's Indonesia. Mm -hmm. And they went to Sumatra. Mm -hmm. You know Sumatra? It's here, the picture. And they lived here in Pada, uh, so, uh, Savalun, Savalunto, near Pada. Uh, then first, uh, it was in 99 that they married, go to here, and 1910, Lise, Maria, no, Elizabeth, Margareta, mm -hmm. uh, that's Lise. And a year after, John. John is Johannes Hendrikus. Yes, I knew that. Yes. yes. And, uh, well, he, he was, was born 19 in 1911. Mm -hmm. And in 1916, uh, during the First World War, they went back to Holland mm -hmm. by boat mm -hmm. and via the Cape. Mm -hmm. up to England, North England, and it was the last boat coming in because a lot of mines and U-boats and everything. Mm -hmm. And then he went to Limburg. Mm -hmm. My uh, father got a new job, mm -hmm. mining, and uh, it was also in Sumatra, Salalunto, the Obelin mines, but now he was in Limburg. And after the war, in 1919, I was born, and so my brother, John, is eight years older, and my sister, nine years older. Mm -hmm. And so after the First World War, my father went to Borneo, to Kalimantan, and then we follow. We have pictures of that. Uh, well, I must tell you something my mother told me. John was not yet one year. Mm -hmm. He was walking like that, mm -hmm. like water, every... And once he came in the dining room 
and hey, he was very small. He had to, to put the pot of hot soup. And then he was walking with the hot soup round the table. And my mother saw it and didn't do anything because of she was afraid. Yes, she you? was afraid. He came round the table and took it on the table again. Nothing happened. <laughs> but he was always climbing, climbing, and he was. Uh, when she went to Holland uh, on the boat, he was uh, oh, running all over the place. Yes, running all over the place, and you couldn't find him. He disappeared. Yeah. He disappeared. It took a long time, and all of a sudden, we find him back up the boat by uh, near the lifeboats, and outside the lifeboats with with his legs over the. <laughs> oh. There's not a railing. Oh. I was looking in the sea, and then Daring. and then they didn't call them because they were afraid that he was jumping in yeah. the water. But somebody was coming down. So and I guess him. <laughs> that was John. I believe it because yes. I have I have a son that's just like that. <laughs> it sounds like you're talking about my child. Yes, yes. yes huh? Which one? Point. Anthony. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, I lost yeah. him when he was little like that. Yes. And I looked up, he had climbed on the side of the house yeah. looking for a lizard. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. What's mm. he's doing like that? Mm -hmm. And so uh, I don't know a lot about uh, Limburg because I was born there. I just born and I went to the Indies too, to the yeah, Netherlands. So, the, so they went back. What kind of work in the mines did my grandfather do? Uh, planning. Oh, okay. Just the planning. Administration type. No, not no. administration. He was half administration, uh, just to plan what they had to do. I see. And uh, and was he working for someone? Yes, for the OBM, the East Borneo uh, Maatschappij uh, Company. Company. East okay. Borneo Company. Uh -huh. He was a very important man. Oh, normal. No, uh, normal, normal, no, normal, 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 <laughs> normal is walking the streets and... Oh, and, no. and <laughs> oh that's not normal, no. no that's no, that, no, I know, no. I know. I know that when I told you that, that my father <laughs> had told me that we were knighted and that he had inherited a title from generation to generation. He was, a, you know, the first one in 16 something was a baron. And then they no, were barren. Don't believe that. Don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told my Nonsense. I told my children yes. that it was that you had told me it wasn't true. And my daughter stood up and she says, "I think it was true because I saw it. I saw that." I said, "Everybody has one of those." <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? We we had a, a, a it, it, we were proud to be Dutch. Oh, you know, yeah. and, and congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> and we wanted to know more about it, you know. Mm -hmm. Now my father got very angry with me because I didn't value mm -hmm. the the crest, yes. the family yes. crest, as much as he wanted mm -hmm. me to. Mm -hmm. you know. uh, it, it didn't, you know, it didn't mean to me what it mm -hmm. meant to him because mm -hmm. he told me he was going to paint a big one, you know, have it painted, mm -hmm. and he was going to send it to my house, and and I didn't, I was not impressed, and and he didn't like that. You mm -hmm. know. I'm impressed now. I love that, you know. Oh, I I I think it's wonderful, you know. But back then I had too much coming at me. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. so, yeah. so when did, did your sister die? Well, um, in 1994. Not too long ago. Not too long ago. She was 84. And what did she die of? Where? In no, what, what did she have? Did oh, she just, have just. This age? This age. Yeah. 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 Okay, and and uh, your mother died of yes cancer. Cancer, cancer where? Uh, cancer in the in the stomach. In the stomach, yeah. intestinal cancer or, or stomach cancer in the intestines. Intestines, yes. Yeah. Mm. And my father too. He, uh, my mother died in 1963, mm. and he died in 61. Mm. So he couldn't marry again with his second wife, you see. But now I'm too far in in what I like to tell you about you. I, just I go back to Borneo, to okay. Kalimantan. Eh? Okay. Yeah. Don't interrupt me. Eh? Okay. okay. Well, uh, 
my I, I have a few idea what's that I was there as a little child. I hear a lot about uh, John, uh, what he was doing. He was always cross with the Chinese people. He called them uh, 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 the, uh, Tina Lolling Buntut Goring. It means Tina Lolling, uh, the China had a, 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 a tail, mm -hmm. is uh, a baked, a baked <laughs> tail. And then they call him um, Jan Capella Machan. Keep it, keep it, Buntut I am. That means Jan Capella as, as a tiger. Mm -hmm. But his. <laughs> Like a chicken. <laughs> 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 he was always cross with the Chinese, mm -hmm. and then he picked uh, some uh, thing from from uh, from house to give it the Chinese people to uh, to rent a horse, and then he came riding a horse. without a saddle, without everything. <laughs> he got up to, through Samarinda, mm -hmm. and uh, and then he had an ape, and the ape did, liked it. He, he did a lot of things uh, he didn't make to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, well, then he had to go back to Holland for education, and uh, so we went. Uh, yes, we went to Holland by boat through the west. And oh, a lot of troubles. But what was then happened? We were. Excuse me. What year did did uh, he go back to Holland? Well, I I suppose he was, he was twelve and of or thirteen. Uh, and and Lise was uh, one year older, and they uh, went to a family mm -hmm. for school. And uh, a letter at that time uh, cost one month to India, and uh, from India to Holland, and then they ride back one month again. There mm -hmm. were no no planes, mm -hmm. just everything by boat. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it took well, that long. so my mother didn't uh, like my uh, father too much, and she didn't like Kalimantan. So we went off. Often off to uh, Holland, and she mm -hmm. always take me, mm -hmm. and so I didn't saw the school too much. You mm -hmm. see, <laughs> mm -hmm. well, uh, and then we came back, and uh, she put them to Katwijk. That is uh, a school Jesuit. You call mm -hmm. Jesuit. Mm -hmm. Jesuit. Mm -hmm. Jesuit. And she was happy, and she take Lise back to India, and um, so he stayed in the school. She stayed just few months mm -hmm. because he was singing, "Mother, <laughs> mother, onze kraai is dood. Hij is van een stokje gevallen, en hij brak zijn linkerpoot. Mother, onze kraai is dood." But the, the, the boys were all looking like this. And they call the Jesuit cry. That is a, a bird, a, a black bird, mm -hmm. the cry. A mother how cry is that. He is falling down. He broke his leg of feet. A mother how cry is that. <laughs> and then they, they sent him away <laughs> to another uh, They didn't school. want him there. They didn't want him, no. He, he was, was a brat. brat. Yes. He was naughty. Mm. And then then we uh, get the telegram. Uh, John is disappeared. Well, he went to the family in Breda, and so we go back to Holland again. And uh, what what happened then? Um, we we went in Veld. Oh yes, and then we go, uh, went to the high uh, high school, the HBS. It means. Um, High, uh, High Burger School, mm -hmm. uh, the Red uh, Rome Catholic, and that we say HBS is Hondenbewaarschool. It means a school for dogs. 
<laughs> the same dogs. <laughs> dogs. <laughs> so he said, all the people there, are, all the teachers are like dogs. They don't know anything. Mm. I know everything, but they he said doesn't. That? Yes, John said yes, that? yes. And uh, well, he had uh, he loved uh, animals, and he got chicken, uh, uh, chickens, and then early in the morning he opened the gate, the gate no, for the, the chickens, chickens, and he walked to the park and to the neighbors, and he had uh, nice uh, vegetables, young vegetables. Mm -hmm. Everything. Vegetable. So, oh, 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 everything was something wrong. He was naughty. He was very naughty. He couldn't sit still. And, uh, well. What town was this, uh, this high school? Hmm? What, what town was this located? The Jesuit school. The Jesuit school. Where? Oh, that was in Katwijk. 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 Yeah, we'll look Katwijk. it up in the map. Mm -hmm. It's on, on the beach. He had uh, Katwijk, Noordwijk, you go more to Morrow to mm -hmm. Noordwijk, that's Katwijk too. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, what happened then? Oh, a lot. Huh? I tell, oh, I so by then I he was 13? No, no, he was older then. Oh, he was uh, 16. 16. Mm -hmm. What happened? I don't, I can't remember. I know that he told me he had sailed from Holland. And went around the world. Is yes, that that's so later, later. Oh, he said before he met me, before he met my mother. Yes, yes, that's true. But now I, I, I don't know what happened then. Not the moment. Um, well, uh, excuse me. When he was in the school, what did you do? Where, where, where did you go uh, to school? school too. The same school? No, no, not the same school. He was uh, eight years younger. Yes. So it was the, the small school. Mm -hmm. So the elementary school, probably. Yes. In the same that's town. School. In the same town, yes. Yeah. And uh, only you were not a naughty girl like my father was a naughty oh, girl. Oh, what? <laughs> not like him. I was like Peachy Bell. Peachy <laughs> Bell. Peachy Bell. Peachy Bell was a naughty boy in the book, you see. Oh. And he everything did things. Mm. Well, I don't know about my brother. Um, well, my brother and sister uh, were not nice together. No. I don't know why. I like my brother and my brother li liked me. We, we had loved, uh, we loved a lot, a bit, uh, very much. Um, well, what happened? Oh, this, uh, it happened a lot, but I can't remember. Well, that's a lot to remember. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's going back many years. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. well, stop it because I have to think yeah, about stop it. it. Stop the camera? Stop yeah, it okay. Sumatra, Sumatra, Sumatra. And this is in Limburg where I was born. And it was before I was born. My mother was, you may have. Oh, now I feel like, I think I look like her. It's possible. And it was on on the on board to the Indies. This is me, mm -hmm. and my brother loves me. He did everything for me. Yeah. Washing. Oh, that and was nice. And so we were in the Indies. Look how cute you were. You little. Probably I was six. Yeah. And so we just in the garden. We had uh, birds here, mm -hmm. above. and this was an Indy too. And always we had a photo. Uh, we had a crew cut. Yeah, yes. His hair cut yes. very, very yeah. short. Yeah. Yeah. Always the Chinese people come. Is the house? Whose house is that? Uh, our house in mm -hmm. Berlin. Mm -hmm. And it's. Uh, for me. Oh, this is beautiful. Who's this? You? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you uh, say in English, Bichten? You have to tell the priest. Confession. Confession. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what it was. And my mother hated 
that he tells me what it means. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, well, I, 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 I tell her. And he told me you may not uh, have some sort of sugar out of the pot. And you don't must uh, bite your sister. And you don't m may uh, do like this to your mother. Mm -hmm. That's the Next day, I have to go to him and his ruling and his whole teacher. And I'm going to feel wrong. Oh, well, I put the sugar in my mouth, I bite my sister, and I put my mother. <laughs> she, she did all the things she was supposed to do. <laughs> but I didn't. But I saw that, that I oh, had to Oh, you told do. that in yes. confession. Yes. Yeah, I know. I used to do things like that, too. Make up sins, because I didn't know what to say. <laughs> Not you. You never did that, right? <laughs> I said, oh, I probably told five lies this week. You know, maybe I fought with, with, with my brother. Now this young. Oh, yeah. yeah. My mother, my father, Miss, it's me. Uh -huh. And we have twice. This is the brother of my father uh -huh. and his wife. Your uncle. This is my mother. This uh -huh. young. Me, sister, and cousins. Mm -hmm. Look at tall, skinny young. He, uh, hey, his legs look just like mine. <laughs> we several times uh, go to the East Indies and and back to Holland, and always by boat. And this one of the boats, the Patria. Mm. Is the menu twenty? Well, that's um, Margareta Johanna van den Hogen. She lived then at that time in Doorn. And so we met John, this wife Dora and Yvonne in Doorn after the oh. World War II. Okay. And that was your mother, right? Yes. 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 I know. Oh, that is John by, by the birds. He liked to have a lot of birds and chickens and, and where was everything that? Uh, went wrong, of course. <laughs> <laughs> where was that? Uh, that was in Velp, near Arnhem. Hmm? Okay. This is the grandmother and grandfather of uh, Margaret and her aunt Lise and her father John and the little baby, it's me. Well, this is taken before the war, uh, World War II. Uh, it was in 1939. Yeah. They always thought it was a child of, of me, mm -hmm. because she looks like me. But uh, <laughs> she is for my sister. And if she was in Doorn, and I took her on my arms, and then people say, how is possible a, a girl so blonde, and I, I was black? Mm -hmm. How is that possible? Is it because she is my sister's child. Mm -hmm. And what was her name again? Uh, Marijke. Marijke Heuf. Well, this one, I was in 40, uh, 47. I was... Uh, I. I suppose I was 28. Yes, I was 28. Well, that was uh, in Scheveningen, near The Hague, Den Haag. As my mother, my big sister, and me. You know the other? Okay. My sister and me, in Scheveningen. Do you tell me, do you say Scheveningen? As a witch on ice, that was me. I like skating. And you like dressing up. Dressing up. Okay. okay. <laughs> Do it now. Do it. Oh, okay, you were in the army? Yes, I was coming in the army as a sergeant major. And all the boys uh, uh, singing, Kiss me goodnight, sergeant major, sergeant major, goodnight. 
<laughs> That's all. How did you become a sergeant major so quickly? Oh, that's another. Uh, that's uh, another story. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> because she was. What? I tell about this. Mm -hmm. There, I was near eight, nine years old, just coming from the Indies to Holland. And it was usual to uh, have uh, what is a matros? Uh, they call the no, I don't know. And this is my sister. Here she was married. And he put this one with that one. Yes, and there she is the artist. Here's another one. These three can be put together. This yes. is the yeah. same person. I tell you what. Okay, this is your sister. And my sister Lise, Elizabeth Joanna. She married with a medical doctor. And uh, yes, that's all. And then she divorced. What is the whole story? But she married him again. The same one. Same, same one. <laughs> but the children say, if you marry the other one, you will never see us again. And then she she came back. Oh, okay. Okay. This is this is pretty good. This the pictures that you have of my father. Okay. Well, that is brother Johannes Hendrikus Kuilaars, and that's my mother, Margareta Johanna Kuilaars van den Hogen. That's me, and Maria Elisabeth, and that is Lies, as uh, Elisabeth Johanna Kuilaars. Oops. Okay. The, that's brother and sister, Jan and Lies, we call them in Holland. I don't know the age there. Okay. Yes, this is our house <coughs> in Velp near Arnhem. Is the, my father was then in the Indies and John <coughs> was on the HBS. It means Hondebewaarschool. Dogs means he didn't like to go to school because the teachers are like dogs, he said. I know nothing. But <laughs> Nothing <laughs> like me. <laughs> that is in Indonesia, <coughs> uh, Borneo, Kalimantan now, and uh, in our garden, it's uh, my sister, Lies, uh, my brother Jan, and that's the little one, that's me, Rita. Ritje called it. There I was, Maritje. But now I <laughs> am Rita. This one was taken in Holland during the World War, uh, the First World War, uh, before I was born. And uh, it's my mother, my sister, my brother, but I wasn't born at that moment. That's in uh, Indonesia. Um, yes, it must be in uh, 1914, I suppose, 14, 15. It's my sister, my father, my brother, my mother in uh, um, Savalunto, near Padang. You're not in it. Sister and brother, Lies and Jan, in uh, uh, Savalunto, near Padang, Sumatra. Okay. Made the hats, and it was so painful since he made it from iron, you know. Oh, no. <laughs> and I got here, but <laughs> not <laughs> oh, the whole day. It was painful. Now, which one is you? With this one, the big one. The big one, and and uh, that that's was uh, just a friend. I see. You were bridesmaid for your sister. Yes. Oh, this is the year I was born. That's it. Okay. Yes. You like this one? I have double. Oh, great. And tell me who this but is. No, I like to to take. This to is my see. my aunt Lisa, 
and she was uh, and she was a nurse. Yes, yeah, she was a nurse, nurse, and that picture was taken in 1933, the year I was born, and she was eight. Uh, how, how old was she in that picture in 1933? Oh, she is from 1910. From 19, she, she was 23 years old okay. when that picture was taken. It's possible. Um, when my father went to visit me in Hawaii, uh, I was 28, and I had just had Anthony. He was two months two months old. That's the day that my father was leaving Hawaii. That's Bill, myself, um, Billy, Andy, Mike, and Anthony. This is a picture of my dad and myself. When he came to visit in Hawaii, I felt like I was a princess. He bought me all those clothes, and uh, he bought himself a lei and a shirt, and he bought Yvonne a dress just like mine. We went back to the airport to take the picture. But this, this, uh, okay, this is my aunt, Lise, and her husband. Uh, he was a doctor. What was his name? Hoof. Hoof. Okay. All right. That's when she was getting married, right? Mm-hmm. This one is my father. I don't know how old he was then. I think younger than 53, because it was taken before he came to visit me in Hawaii. Okay. This one. Is that what you do? At the table there. Okay. That's uh, uh, Duke Kahanamoku's restaurant in Hawaii where my father took me and I couldn't eat. Uh, but he could eat. <laughs> and we had a good time. And this, you're going to move it? That's all right. Okay, this is my father when he was quite young. I, my aunt says he probably was in Aruba at the time. I don't think so. I think he was in New York when he first arrived. This is my father and his older sister. They're one year apart. She's, her name is Lise, and that's who I think I look a little bit like. This is the home of Dawa. That's uh, Marge's cousin and Rita's son. Mm. This is the way around the house, through the garden, to the back. Hello. What's your name? Biker. Biker? Biker. Yeah. Don't expect me to write this is Igor. Igor is under the table. Email? There's a small dog when he... Hello, Igor. Hello, Igor. Look in the camera. Look at the camera, Look at the camera Igor. You're on okay, the American, American Picture Show. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> you were so excited, so... No? Let me tell you. I was turning red. And my grandson was leaving. And we both looked, there was no car. Then this one came so fast. So I just pulled, you know, over so I would not hit the, the passenger chair. When I pulled over, that's when I hurt myself. Because there was a little child in the front. This is more my father and I'm more Italian. And we were always fighting. Want a coffee? And now we're getting ready to go to the North Sea, <laughs> right? I think that uh, she had to work until 4 o'clock oh, yeah. at the church, oh, and she was going to try to leave early.
He's got, he looks like he has his hands in his pocket and he's walking very slowly. The tide is out now, and I think it's coming in. Um, hello. See that? Take a picture of her. We take a picture of you. Builder. Okay, thank you. Danke. Is he out there? Uh, he's walking out. See him walking out? Back. Oh, I see. Now he's forward. Oh, I'm freezing. I'm going back in. Well, we're ordering dinner. And I thought I'd get a picture of uh, all the confusion going on here. We're looking at pictures at the same time. I'm Batsu. I'm the oldest son of uh, Rita Rijnvoort. Oh, I forgot you. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Who, me? Yes. Well, I'm Margaret. My relationship to Margaret is I'm Margaret. Good. <laughs> These are all my family. Okay. You are missing email. Dawa. Hello, I'm Dawa. Dawa's got a mouthful of my, food right now. My, my brother is Batsu. <laughs> I am the youngest son of Rita. And Rita is the daughter of Jan. Jan is the father of uh, Margaret. But who are you to me? And I'm to you, your niece. No. No? You are my cousin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cousin. <laughs> my cousin. <laughs> Cut it out. We'll be back after this. Okay. I'm uh, Dallas. Uh, Son? Wife. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Margaret's cousin. And, uh, this is my daughter, Emily. Okay. I am Lida Reisinghaf. I am very close emo relation to my This is my angel. Why is she your angel? <laughs> because she's the first person I contacted in Holland with the last, last name. Can I say your last name again? Ratinga. Uh, and then she right away knew about my aunt because her father had done a, a book on the family tree. And this is how I got to meet all these wonderful people. So she's very special to me. <laughs> the family in Amstelveen. Yes, right. Okay. I am John Peter, Jan Peter, in Dutch. I am the mother of Lida, and I have heard she is an angel. <laughs> <laughs> I am the writer of the book, the uh, writer of the book. Okay. I am Iko Stuyp, I am Iko Stuyp, I am the husband of Lida, and that's all. Okay. I see you as the You're the husband of the angel. Um, <laughs> Lida is my mother, and Nico is my brother, and then is my little sister. Very good. Okay, and can you tell your I'm name too? I'm Isetta. I'm the daughter of, uh, of, of Lida. Lida. And I'm 12 years old. And you've had one year of English, and your sister's had none. And look how good she does. And I'm nine years. Nine. This is the town of Ipa, where Rita lives. Ipa. Ipa. This is a typical bicycle path in Holland. And going in the other direction from this road.
there's a thatched roof. We're on our way back to the um, what, the flat. What's the name of the place? Zollenhof? Something like that. That's the name of the street. Yeah. Okay, this is the flat Rosenhof. And Aunt Rita lives right here on the fourth floor. Right there. On the corner. This is the view out of the back from the uh, flat. We're in the town of Hinderlupen. There's a lock. That must be the lock keeper's house. Okay, on top of the lock keeper's house, this is what we've got. A fisherman. Hello. Well, we're still in Hindelopen, and that's the church, the main church, which is a reformed Protestant church. And that's the time. In the morning. Well, it's a little bit overcast. We're up on the uh, berm. There's the uh, North Sea. It's actually not the North Sea, it's an inlet. I forget the name of the inlet. And it's a very large marina. Many sailboats. And modern sailboats. They're all fiberglass. And around back to where the church was just like that and next to the church is the skating museum this must be an area where they've had some um, famous skaters that's ice skating all the way around like that and there's Marge with the bad back. And people are swimming out in the ocean or in the sea. They could walk out all the way. It's shallow water there. All the way like this. And they actually like the Hinkle uh, Heineken beer here. Everywhere in Holland, Heineken is very popular, which is good because that's what I like. Uh, I was ready to leave, but I think that uh, Marge is picking up all the trash everywhere. She must be zeroing, zeroing in on another piece. 
somewhere. Or maybe she's going to walk home. Oh, there it is, right there. Bend over, get it, watch your back. Oh, she made another one. Okay. I guess that's enough of that. Well, there's quite a few boats out there, but it's so overcast. But maybe we can see a few. He's motoring. There's a few sailing here someplace. There's one. Somewhere. That's all I see for now. Well, we were short some money. I only have 150 guilders left. And I think what she did is she has walked over to this area where the people are swimming and stole the money out of their purse. And now she's going out on the end and praying for forgiveness. Looks pretty dangerous for someone with a bad back. I think she's stuck. She can't turn around. She's got to go forward. But there's nothing there to go to. Maybe I should rescue her. It's a nice, quiet tourist town. And there's buses. From, mostly from Holland. Although, at the pension we stayed, the lady said they came from all over the world. Let's see, I had been waiting here, I guess a good 25, 30 minutes. Maj has been at the end of this point, sitting, now she's coming back. I'm guessing that she was reflecting on her dad, Jan who at an early age of around 22 went to New York. I've been told that he was a very uh, free spirit, adventuresome, very smart. And restless. And I'm sure she was reflecting on, on her dad's traits. He was a sailor. And he later moved to um, Puerto Rico, Aruba and sometimes later to South Africa, Argentina. So he had done quite a bit in his life. He owned some businesses. This is the Dutch rendition of Salome. Yeah, he is the head of John the Baptist. By Johannes the Doper. <laughs> That's how, how it's written. I'm sure it's proper, proper, proper. We're now in the museum, directly across from the uh, lake, or the bay rather.
I'm looking at some pottery that might be the same as what we have at our site. Cannonballs. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't look very good. Shackles. We were leaving Hinderlopen, and I thought, well, maybe take a picture of this house. Yeah. It's a little bit of a hazy day, but I thought we would take all three of these windmills. It's very calm, they're barely moving. Surprised they're moving at all. Well, there's the old one. And way over there behind that tree is a new one, but she's not turning. There's a tourist taking pictures of weeds. We're on the dam. We're on the dam that's about 30 kilometers long, maybe in the middle of it or just the beginning, and uh, stopping for some lunch. Okay. Off the dam are, is a gas station and this little side road with with uh, plenty of tables and so forth. And so we had lunch. And over there, I tried to uh, use their telephone so I could call the hotel in Amsterdam. But they said they were sorry. The phone that they're using is from Sweden because they have driven 1,000 kilometers to come somewhere south of Amsterdam to race their racing car, which is in this particular vehicle. It has a racing car plus two bunks, and then the other two people stay in there. And that's how it is. And there's the tourist again, trying to take a little picture of something. I don't know what it is, but it must be very important to her. I talked to these people for a while because I wanted to use their phone. And uh, the way they talked, they were fanatical. And I said, I understand, because I have a son-in-law, Brian Dodge, who is crazy. And in fact, they're all crazy. Before we enter the old city, we will start with a visit to the harbor. Before Rechts sehen Sie den Hauptbahnhof, der größte Bahnhof der Niederlande, der am Ende des 19. Jahrhunderts gebaut wurde. A droite, vous voyez la gare. Het gebouw is in 1656 was built in only nine months. Het is van het is ook de Amsterdam. Het is een getrouwe kopie van een 18e eeuws koopvaardijschip en is toegankelijk voor het publiek. The Maritime Museum is also home port to the well-known sailing boat missions of the 18th jaarhonderd. Le musée de la marine est aussi le port d'attache du notoire navire POC de Amsterdam. An employment project to get work experience and it took six years to complete. De bouw was een arbeidservaringsproject en dus. On the right, you can see the Jewish Historical Museum, 
Wir fahren jetzt in den ältesten Teil der Stadt über die Herrengracht, die schönste der drei Hauptgrachten. Maintenant, nous navigons sur les canaux des Seigneurs. According to the total frontage of the building, Ihnen ist sicherlich schon aufgefallen, dass das exquisite example of Dutch Renaissance architecture. Eines der schönsten Häuser in der Stadt ist das prächtige Battelotti Haus, das wir gleich links verfügen. Es wurde 1612 gebaut und ist ein prachtvolles Beispiel holländischer Renaissance Architektur. L'une des plus belles maisons de la ville est la superbe maison Battelotti. Ladies and gentlemen, we have some time to spare. We will be right back after the next messages. Every 45 minutes, you can get on or off of each stop. Netherlands has one of the great historical interests of Europe. There are more than 8,000 historic buildings. In addition, there are 160 canals with total length. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sultan of Sultan. That was the name of the town. And his name was Sultan. We're now in the front of the Anne Frank house. And uh, this is the line of people waiting to get in. And I assume that that is it. Uh, yesterday afternoon we came to Breda, the uh, town where, where uh, Marge's grandfather was born. We stayed at the Hotel Kaiser, which is right next door to the uh, archives, and that's where Marge is right now. It's about uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. And I'm going to stop by and see her, and take a look at the town. And then later this afternoon, we're leaving to go to the cop house and uh, stay with them and meet Klaus and Marga and a few days there, maybe two or three, and then visit Gerhardt and Wolfgang, hopefully, and then lastly to Trudels. Erika is on vacation, and so we're going to miss her, unfortunately. And this is where the archives is located in this building. It's between 1870 and 1892 or something. Okay. So then we, when, it's, when it's right, we find all the children that were born there. Okay. Yeah? Okay, good. 19 what? Uh, 19, let's see. Yeah, it's 1970 or something like that. Okay. Nobody born then. No, but it's the right period to find the children. Children, children. They got married, and it wasn't. A, uh, he wasn't from Breda. No. She's from Breda. And, yeah. and the, but is this a, a marriage? See, this is downstairs. That's all new compact computers. Yes. She discovered. Church was uh, started in 1492. And at this point, I've lost Marge. I have no idea where she is. Yeah, we're uh, we are now in Germany in Maikama, and we're celebrating uh, Tandalada's birthday today. Her birthday is tomorrow, but we're celebrating today. And that's it. A lot of talking during there.
just finished dinner. I forgot to take pictures before. Getting ready to go to the cups. Right, we're just start leaving. This is uh, some flowers in front of Golden Ox, which I videotaped many times before because this is where my grandfather made the uh, lamps. Okay, ready now. Okay, Uncle Willie. Yeah. Uncle Willie, yeah. sorry. My name is Willy Gemmerer. And Peter, I'm not verwandt. He's a father. He's a father. He's a cousin to me. Good. Thank you. No translation. Okay, translation. Okay. Suzanne. Um, this is uh, Oma Willi, he is um, the cousin from Uncle P uh, from Pete's uh, father, mm -hmm. and he is now 93 years old. Okay, now we go to Klaus. I'm Klaus Trutzel, I'm Peter's first cousin, my mother is uh, Peter's mother's sister. Good. Thank you. No, it's okay. It's okay. Good. And uh, harmonia with my family, prächtig. Yeah. <laughs> Translate that. What did he say? <laughs> well, he said, Rup said that he is uh, Lotte Grünenwald's husband. He is her second husband because I, her father died in the war. And he said he lives in um, good harmony with all the family. <laughs> That's true, and, and uh, he also holds hands with a lot of, they walk hand in hand. <laughs> now, Marga. My name is Marga Trutzel, my husband Klaus Trutzel is Peter's first cousin. That's close. Thank you. And now, now we go to... I am from the Midi Camera, a Krau, I am 82 years old and I am... Also, Right, yeah, I think. <laughs> and, and, and she made uh, all this food along with Anami, Anneli, right? Okay, yes. That's the Mutti. Mutti. My name is Anneli Kapp, geboren a Kamera. I'm the daughter of Elisabeth and Willi Kamera. Also, the Peter is to me a Nachcousin. Or a gross cousin, so nennt man das in Deutschland. Translation. Translation, yeah. yes. Die Mutter von Anneli Kapp is a second cousin to Uncle Pete. And I'm Annette Leonard now. I married last week. And I'm her daughter. So I'm a third cousin to Uncle Pete's children. Very good. That's perfect. <laughs> and? So, and I'm another daughter from Anneli Kapp. And I'm also a third cousin from Uncle Pete, and I'm Kids. 23 years old, and was noch? <laughs> that's it, that's good. <laughs> and uh, who is this lady here? This lady. Oh, I've been um, Margaret, and I'm a Marge, and I've been dein um, fiancé. I'll change the mm -hmm. <laughs> How old are you? And who are you? 
I'm me. I'm the cameraman. I'm the cousin of Klaus. I'm the nephew of Lotta. And I'm the future husband of you if you behave. <laughs> if I behave, I'm not me then. <laughs> and Marga, I mean Marge, just drank a whole one fourth oh, no. liter of wine because Rip forced her to. <laughs> and now we're going to have some coffee and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Now, I have to declare that today is the day before tomorrow. And tomorrow is your birthday. And she'll be. Long hast Geburtstag. Ja. Long hast Geburtstag. Mm -hmm. Ja. And wie alt? Wie alt? 86. 86 years old. Pretty good shape. You got that all the muttons? Well, we just finished eating and uh, some picture taking in the uh, vineyard. And Klaus and his mom are going to be leaving. <laughs> We have a gift of grapes to rip from, um, well, we have the sun in front of us here. <laughs> Okay. There we go. Oh, a picture of a picture. I got the last <laughs> shot. <laughs> okay, today uh, we're harvesting some grapes, the red grapes or blue, if you want to call it that. And this particular uh, vineyard is done by hand. So um, the lady that owns these has some friends that come each year to help harvest. Uh, the two people that are working with us today are from Holland. And uh, one of those persons is very close to Ipa. And this is another American supposed to arrive from, he's now vacationing in uh, Spain, and he should be here shortly. Okay, this is the wagon that we're putting the grapes in, and the lady running it is Rita, and Rita is the place where uh, Hunnery, Hunnery, Hunnery last year came to visit and stayed with her at the guest house. Hello, Hello Rita. Rita was the uh, false uh, beauty queen 25 years ago. So this is what we've done so far today. Here's the back of the tractor. Uh, her grandfather was also killed in a tractor accident. Uh, oh, do you look good? Now we're going to learn how to do this by an expert. See? Yeah. Of course, I've already been doing this for an hour and a half. 15 minutes. Yeah, okay. That's how it's done. It's on. Yeah. Get this. On. Yeah. yeah. Now it's on. That's good. Read this. See, I'm going to enter the grapes. Yeah, look, it's now. It's now. Now That's it. Okay. So I can turn it off. So I can turn it off. Yeah, yes. This is on, this is the road list. Come. Yeah. See the road list? Yeah. There. Yeah. And, and fetish. Okay. Oh, this oh, is very schön. I enjoy doing this. Yeah. I'm happy to do this. Yeah. This one's a big one here. This type of work is a good preparation for, a, for your marriage. <laughs> yeah, 
So, jetzt kriege ich wieder drauf, gell? Okay. Just exactly where we're standing, right there is the Hamburger Schluss. Schluss. I can never say it right. The castle. I just emptied a couple of them. That's my co-worker from Holland. One of the co-workers. Uh, I am Jan. I come from the Netherlands. Yep. Where? What town? In the near from Zwolle. Zwolle, yeah. yeah you know that? Eper. Yeah, Eper. Yeah, that's Eper. Uh, uh, my village is uh, so about eight kilometers from Eper. Yeah, right. There you go. So he came down on his. Uh, he is in the. He works in the army. He's retired from yeah. NATO. And now we are. And now he's vacationing by cutting grapes, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And there we have. This is John. And what's that name? Yeah, my name is Jan too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mean that all Dutch guys uh, are named Jan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming from the Netherlands as well. Li live near Arnhem. Uh -huh. I've been working here in uh, Heidelberg for four years. And uh, I learned to drink wine, oh. and now I like to help to produce wine. Okay, thank you. We appreciate that. You're the welcome. rest of the world appreciates that. <laughs> <laughs> and this, and? Yeah. Yeah. Deine Name? My name is uh, Augustin Gren. Yeah. In the Oba from the family. Yeah. Oba from Marita? No. Uh, and Tony. Yeah. The, the, Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. What do you want to know? Why? Well, uh, what, what his relationship is? Is he, he the In owner Marita's of this? father-in-law. Rita's father-in-law. Oh, yeah. Okay. I got you. Was hat er gesagt? Ah. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's surprising how how many grapes are in such a so close together. They taste very good. You can eat these or make wine out of them. Uh, next year, they're taking down all these uh, uh, vines and uh, replanting them, and it takes three years for the new ones to produce. And when they put the new ones in, they're going to do it so that they can they don't have to be cut by hand, that they can be cut by machine. Uh, just one more shot of some grapes. Look nice. We had some more people show up from Oregon. And it's become a more of a social thing, or as much a social thing as uh, working. These are kids playing at school on little uh, tricycles, etc. You would never see that in America because the little kid would get hurt and they parents would own the school. Uh, That's the church. On it. Huh? That's the one that had the rooster on top. Okay, this is Rathausstrasse and this has all been um, renovated. And all the way back down to here, and this is where my great grandparents lived, the Schlindweins. Okay, this person uh, who's got a lot of money bought these three houses and restored them, We're using them as guest houses. And he's trying to uh, keep Neustadt uh, in the forefront. I'm not positive, but I think this house, number 32, is the home of uh, the great grandparents. And this has all been restored this last year. I had videos last year from while they were doing it, or when they were doing it. And now it's a private restaurant. Private restaurant? Private restaurant. They have, oh. they have private parties. In there. Oh, okay. It's a private restaurant now. And it was built originally in the year 1700. This is, uh, this is Rittergartenstrasse number six. This is where uh, my grandparents lived. Jean Krebs and his wife, Barbara, 
and this is where my mother was born, Olga. And this was the school where Olga Schwank went, also Annette and Susie. Did you go there too, Annelie? No. No? That's grave. That's a Okay, this is, um, uh, what's the date, Pete? Today's the 23rd. The 23rd of September, and we're on our way to Nuremberg in this wonderful train, looking at wonderful hills. This is a beautiful country. I like it better than Holland. We met the conductor of the next train, and he's going to let us ride with him in a train from, what's the name of the town? Würzburg. Würzburg to Nuremberg. And we're going to get to go first class. Water. Oh, okay. Excuse me, I have to get some water. We are now in Nuremberg. The battery went dead in the train, and so now we're uh, walking through the town. We're getting ready to go to the cemetery, and we stopped here at this uh, well, the Brunnen. Brunnen, and this is the. Beautiful well. And right on the other side here is the Glockenspiel. It only uh, plays their music and they dance around at 12 o'clock. And it's 2 o'clock now, so we can't do it. There are also emperors and like the birds there. And look at the animal, little monkey, that represents different. Yeah. China, Looking at all the individual things here, yes. and so forth. The wishing ring that has no seams, so people touch it and make a wish and they say it comes true. And I just told a secret wish. Uh, this is the entrance to the cemetery where Leslie is buried. This is the grave site. And it's right there, it's exactly where Leslie was buried. Uh, just behind here, the grave site, is a lock tree. Okay, we have a little squirrel here that seems to be interested. Okay. He's too fast for me, Marge. He's looking at it from the back area. I don't have the right light. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
And this is the, showing the section of the cemetery, which is section 45. And Mark is pointing out this other grave for obviously a child, 1937 to uh, 1948. And right back here is Leslie's grave. Where the yellow flower is located. Yeah. Were occupied yeah. until the 80s. I see. It was. This is all Not the children's free. section right here. This, yeah. <laughs> this is a little bird called the black tit. Is this 45? Yes. It's English bird. That's my squirrel. Took yeah. off. It's this the area there. again. Come on, baby, we'll so go. It is very Did nice. Come on. come on, baby, come on. Okay. Is it, is it red now? Yeah, we can see you now. Can, can I talk now? Yep. Well, look at my little friend. That's another one. Um, look how beautiful this is, Pete. It looks like there's there's diamonds all around the trees on the outline, and and, and it's raining right now. And Pete, just like Puerto Rico. This is the most beautiful cemetery I have ever seen in my life. Look at this, Pete. This also at the entrance way. See how beautiful this is. Mm -hmm. and, and take a picture of her. Take a picture of, of uh, Margot. See, yeah. uh, see the little squirrel around Margot. See that? That's the little squirrel we ha that was chasing us, I think. He's looking for something to eat. Okay, this is the uh, plat. And this is 44, this is 46, and 45 is where Leslie is. Okay, and then this little spot that we're standing right now is that little right there. So there's 44, 46. 44, 46, this is 45. Okay. We're just walking by the gravesite. It's right there, but the sun is in the wrong direction. The gravesite. Everything you're doing is fucking beautiful. But you know it's not as nice as me. This is this is the exact spot where it shows resting. Was that the fourth of March? When did he die? Uh, the second he died, but he was buried on the fourth. Of what? Of March. Okay. This is section 44 and 45, and then Leslie is right by sex. And this is now. And here's the other one for back then. This, is, this was in the original place, right. the original plat. It was original. It's the same place, but they replatted it somewhat. I don't know exactly where that fits in here, but there's no section 45. This is the entrance to the uh, cemetery. And that says, der Staub zum Stauber. That's from dust to dust. And... Der Geist zu Gott. The spirit to God. Dust to dust, spirit to God. So we're getting ready to leave on the train here. And then, hello, Marge. Take, take a look, Marge. Hello. <laughs> and there's my cousin Klaus again. And, and Marga. Marga. Yeah. 
We're in Hummelberg now, obviously. This is Andreas's house. He is, um, um, what's the term for repairing now? Oh, I can't think of the word for making the dress fit Marge, altering the dress. Okay, now we're at Andreas's house. We're going to look at this uh, system for uh, uh, using rainwater for uh, uh, washing and for the toilets and so forth. The water comes from the roof, mm -hmm. comes together in, his, in this pipe, and gets filtered in here. Take off. Filtered in there. Filtered, yeah. yeah. Take off the, the main dirt and then it runs into the tank mm -hmm. where it gets stored. Where it gets stored and by a by a pump, a pump, a pump, mm -hmm. electric pump, it gets into the house mm -hmm. where it's uh, the, the, uh, mm -hmm. distributed. Distributed. Separated. Yeah. This this is the view from the port. And two washing machines. Mm. That's the distribution of all the rainwater. Yeah. And down here is the. Uh, uh, and this is a filter for the rainwater. Oh yeah. It's a, another filter. This is a filter Final only for filter. the rainwater. Yeah. yeah. For the rainwater. Mm. Okay. And I wanted to point out down here, just the, uh, the, the, how thick the floor is. Mm. It's 12 centimeters thick. It starts this off with, uh, with, a, with some insulating cloth the and then the, uh, the, the stone and on top of that this, uh, this here which is about two inches thick. <laughs> Say it again. This is the house which shops around. Okay. So electrical panel. With the electric, electricity. And we're going to have rain water, there's going to be a slop basin there, and we have the, all the plumbing for, uh, I don't know, those are lights there. Where's the washing machine? Oh, the washing machine's upstairs, isn't it? Yeah. And you enter there from, uh, from the back. Yeah, this is the, the end for the upper area. Right. There's a family room, quite large, and this is the front window to the family room. And this goes into the kitchen area. Dinette. Yeah, I'm coming. The, the floor is built here. here. Yep, here. Under, under there, there's a, the beam. Then come two pieces of wood with the stones in it. Mm -hmm. And this is a, a paper to keep the, the stones from all falling out. And these are 
the um, the wood pieces you to see on top. Right. And this is gonna be this kind of floor that comes on it mm -hmm. where you walk on. Mm -hmm. The whole the whole thing. This so how this is a view from the upper deck. We're at the Hamburg Castle, Hamburger Castle. Hummelbeer, Okay, we're just leaving the. Uh, okay, turn around, Marge. We're leaving Take the a castle. Good. And what castle is this? Oh, where my ancestors lived. This belonged to them. The whole thing. Is that right? Yes. And my aunt, a very aristocratic person, lived in here, and she was very naughty. <laughs> 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 hmm. And that's the. Okay, this, we're at the castle and we're looking at this uh, apartment building and uh, Trudel and Dita live just behind it. We can't see the house. 